Hey there, Sharon Hornell from here. Welcome to day 264 of our BU 365 day challenge. You do one thing every day that improves us in some way. This month, this segment, we are focusing on the life framework area of communication. And today's topic is gratitude or communication appreciation, thankfulness and gratitude. And one of the reasons I bring this up. This is at least the ninth time we've talked about gratitude this year and we'll probably talk about it at least three more times. At least once a, a month I make sure that and actually I do it every day that we focus on and talk about how important gratitude is. If you get nothing else out of this challenge then that you need to appreciate what is working in your life right now to create more of it and that you appreciate and have gratitude and are thankful every single day at least once a day be thankful that you're at least alive, right? Make sure that you're appreciating and really feeling the feelings of being grateful and thankful for something that is working in your life. Even if it feels like 90% of your life is not working, focus on the 10% that is. We've covered this a lot in the challenge and we'll continue to cover it because there's foundational fundamental principles and actually the universal laws that operate in all of our lives, whether we believe it or not. And gratitude, or what we put into the world is what we get out, being grateful for what's working and what we have received in our life so that we can get more of those things that we want is one of those principles. And so I did a little graphic this morning. We want to always be focusing on, I guess the second thing I would say is if you're just focused on what you want, that will help you to be grateful for all the steps in the journey as you move toward that. So it's really easy for us to, as human beings, list off all the things we don't want. If you ask 10 people, if you ask five people, what do you want? What do you want out of your life? They might give you vague, oh, I want to be happy. I want to be rich, but, but they don't have specifics around those things. And as humans, if there's something vague and we're not being clear about it, our subconscious doesn't know what to do to help us achieve those things. But as soon as we become specific, those things start to appear in our lives. So we want to take all of the things that we don't want and we want to flip them, I think we've talked about the flip switch technique, into a lot of times it's just the opposite of what we don't want is what we actually do want. If I don't want to be lonely, it means I want to have friends and be in relationships and have company and have activities and things to do. It's the opposite of being lonely is being with other people. The opposite of being broke is being rich to most people, but you can't just say broke is I don't have enough money to meet my needs, rich is a lot of money. What's a lot of money to you? It's it's imperative that we quantify that. Maybe $10,000 is a lot of money to you because it pays off all your debts. Maybe it's $100,000. Maybe it's $20,000 a month. Whatever is the amount of money that makes you feel rich and abundant, that is the specific number you want to be targeting. And guess what? When you achieve that, you'll pick a higher number because that's what we humans do. But we want to take the things that we don't want, flip them around, to the few things that we really, really want specific, right? Specific, measurable, uh, attainable, and actually anything you can imagine is attainable. Um, same thing as SMART goals and SMART goals. We can go ahead and we can create those with respect to our wants. Anything we want, we can turn into a goal. And then we want to focus, visualize, affirm, recite, and write those things. And the more we do that, the more we focus our energy on those things that we want, the faster and easier they will come into our life. So we want to be grateful for the journey and the things as we're achieving them so that we can create and get more of them in our lives. So today our action item is to figure out what your daily gratitude practice is going to be. Maybe it's every morning when you wake up. Every morning when I wake up, I, I have, I have I'm grateful. I practice gratitude at least twice a day, usually more, but at least as part of my morning routine and as part of my bedtime routine. Right before I go to bed, I am grateful for and I acknowledge and appreciate the things that went well today. Same thing in the morning. I am always just plain delighted and excited and grateful to wake up in the morning and have a new opportunity to create whatever I choose to in the day ahead. So share in the comments below what is going to be from this day forward your gratitude practice maybe it's just once a day you're going to notice and be and say thank you for something in your life say thank you to your kids thank you to your significant other thank you to a co-worker thank you to a stranger that you meet on the street that hand you uh your coffee when you order it at a coffee shop or something whatever it is 
pick one thing and commit today that you're going to do that from this day forward. Like I said, once I decided and realized the power of gratitude, I started out with a, a morning gratitude practice. Then I started, then I added the bedtime practice. Then throughout different times during the day, I have different ways of being thankful and appreciative and, and grateful for the things that are working in my life. All right, that's our challenge for today. Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with another communication topic to keep moving forward and improving the communication area and aspect of our life. Have an awesome day. Be grateful.